panic at the pumps. I'm not very happy. With gas priced at over $1.40 a liter, some drivers are changing their Thanksgiving plans. I won't be driving as much and probably going places as often. McMaster's Marvin Ryder says this is all a matter of money and making more of it for oil producing nations. A year ago when the oil prices fell, nations that pump a lot of oil like the Saudi Arabian nations, Nigeria, Russia, um, Venezuela said, oh, we better cut back production because we're not getting a good price for our natural resources. When we started coming out of COVID and you and I started buying more gasoline, uh, those nations said, well, let's just leave our supply where it is. Ryder says those groups intend to increase the oil supply by next month. With cars, trucks and planes all needing fossil fuels to operate, Marvin says some experts foresee oil prices reaching $100 a barrel. At the pump, that means forget about $1.40 a liter, hello $1.50, maybe $1.60 a liter. With prices that high, some drivers are choosing to just grin and bear it. I've never checked the price of gas. It is what it is, you gotta have it, gotta buy it. There are alternatives, however. With the increase in gas prices today, and most likely a bunch more times in the near future, could this be the final push for a lot of people to get an electric car? The cost of filling their tank with electrons, and they quote single amounts of dollars, like it cost me $5 or $8 to fill up my tank, as opposed to, especially if I drive a big honking SUV, I just put 120 bucks in to fill the tank, it starts to look really tempting. This car dealership in Burlington says more and more people are coming in to inquire about electric vehicles. We are getting a lot of people that are coming in and wanting to explore electric vehicles. People don't know that Hyundai sells electric vehicles as well. Um, so we're trying to get everybody to make the switch slowly, but surely. But despite skyrocketing gas prices, some motorists say it's still cheaper than a brand new electric car. They're too expensive. It's not going to change my mind at this point, but if I could afford it, yeah, for sure. My provider says drivers may not have a choice of what kind of car they're going to buy in the near future. Almost every major car manufacturer says they're going to stop making gas-powered light vehicles by 2030. That's just nine years from now.